never give up. Of course not. <laughs> 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 Is this allowed in the girls' dormitory? <laughs> no. <laughs> the last I heard, you were teaching in London. What are you doing here? Attending an economic conference in Washington. Oh. But I want to hear all about you. <laughs> who is he? Who is who? The man fortunate enough to claim you as his bride. <laughs> I'm not married, Marcus, which is just fine with me. Of course. <laughs> I know that laugh. It's the one I don't like. Forgive me, forgive me, lady, but you, mother superior to a flock of young children, what a waste. I'm teaching them a lot. How to be stubborn old maids? Better than stubborn and narrow-minded. Oh, I'm stubborn, eh? Mm -hmm. Never mind it, eh? Mm -hmm. You're the one who takes happiness and throws it away with both hands. Marcus, I was happy with you. And I'm happy without you. You have never been able to understand that. You are a brilliant woman, but you don't know what you want. I know what I want now. I want you to leave. Throwing it away. Throwing it away. I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Neither did he. You know, Letty, someone wouldn't get that angry at you if they didn't really care about you. If he cares that much about me, then why did he leave? Because you asked him to. <laughs> Every time I see you, you've got your head buried in a book. I do not. Oh, there's no law against reading in the library. Sociology 136. Are you in that class? Yes. I sit up close. I'm nearsighted. Let me see. Without my glasses, you're just a blur in a hat. <laughs> I'm not wearing a hat. What? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> 